Hi, I'm Topher Scott with the Hockey Think Tank. I'm Mike Rajo with Speed Skills Hockey. And welcome to our Skill Development Series. Today we're going to talk to you in depth about the forward skating stride. The main two things we're going to talk about are stride length and energy management. All right, let's go. The first component we're going to talk about is stride length. Within stride length, there are going to be three concepts we're really going to focus on. Knee bend, toe snap, and recovery. First, Tove's going to talk about knee bend. The first and most basic fundamental when it comes to a strong and powerful forward stride is your knee bend. As we get into our forward position, we want to make sure that we're really bending from our knees and bending from our butts and not bending from our back and our chest, just like this. So we don't want to do the Iron Man where we have our chest burning a hole through the ice because now our knees are straight and we're not having our head up as we're skating through the ice. So chest up, head up, just like we're sitting on a chair and we want to bend from our knees and bend from our butt. That's the most fundamental building block of a stride. So the second concept we're going to drill into for the forward stride takes over right where Topher left off. Okay, so we're already in our knee bend, our butt is down, our chest is up. Okay, the next part is we have to actually bend our ankles and push our body on a 45 degree angle when we're striding. So at the end of every stride, because of this ankle flexion, we're able to snap our toe at the end, ripping up as much ice as possible, giving us a little bit extra jump in that stride. So if you take a look here as I skate up ice, you'll be able to see my body moving on a 45 degree angle and my toe snapping aggressively at the end of every stride. The last concept we'll talk about when it comes to an efficient forward stride is our recovery. We want to make sure after we've done our toe snap that we bring both feet all the way back together, heel to heel, so we can get a full extension on our next stride. The second component to the forward stride that we're going to take you through today is energy management. And there are three main concepts when it comes to energy management that we feel are extremely important. Number one is your arms and your arm direction. Number two is we want to try and eliminate the bob and be on an equal plane. And number three is your breath. Your breathing is extremely important to your forward stride. So one mistake I see a lot of young players make in terms of not conserving their energy and skating improperly is with their arms and their upper body. Okay, one thing is they either have two hands on their stick and they're pitching hay back and forth like this or they're skating with one hand on their stick and their body is doing the same thing rotating side to side. So when we're skating up ice, whether we're back checking to get back to save a goal or to get to the opposing team's net to score a goal, we have to make sure we're really utilizing our forward stride by reaching with our right arm when we're striding with our right foot and reaching with our left arm when we're striding with our left foot. So making sure our upper body and our lower body are working together. The second concept that we want to talk about when it comes to energy management and having efficient energy in our stride is trying to eliminate the bob. And the bob happens with each stride when we bend our knees and then we straighten our legs. And then bend our knees and straighten our legs. What we want is we want to be on an equal plane as we do our strides. So here's an example of a bob that we see a lot of problems. So we're down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now here's an example of where we want to stay on an even plane, even keeled with our good knee bend as we stride. The last concept of energy management has to do with our breathing. So it's going to happen to every hockey player that throughout the game, throughout their shifts, their heart rate's going to start pounding out of their chest, their breathing is going to start <laughs> and just like our skating, we don't want short choppy strides just like we don't want short choppy breaths. So we're trying to focus on our breathing, deep breaths in, deep breaths out. This in turn will allow your heart rate to slow down and give you energy at the time in a shift when you really need it since you didn't waste it elsewhere throughout the play.
Thanks for joining us for our Ford Stride Fundamentals. Be on the lookout for future skill development videos from Speed Skills Hockey and the Hockey Think Tank.